Good start by Anais Moran, the, the young Swiss skater. Oh. I'm Anais Moran from Switzerland. I was a professional figure skater and now I'm a Red Bull Ice Cross athlete and I'm fighting for the World Championship title. This is my story. My life as a figure skater when I was a kid was really tough. When I think about it now, I'm thinking how crazy it was because I see other kids, they go home after school. And I was just going to train uh, during the midday break and the evening most of the time, Saturday morning very early, freezing out there and <laughs> training hard already with eight, nine, ten years old. So it was pretty tough, but you know, I didn't know anything else. So for me, it was like that and I liked it. It was my passion. But, you know, after some point when you're 18 years old, you want to have a life beside the sport, and this was almost not possible. I decided to do something else, uh, more studies, and see some friends, eat uh, normal things. <laughs> Well, the figure skating scene was uh, more strict. It was more about the good looking, uh, but behind the scene, it was really hard training. And in ice cross, it's kind of the opposite. Like, you just have to be as powerful as possible, so kick you the other asses. <laughs> For a sport like Red Bull Ice Cross, there is uh, three things we need to train. It's uh, strength. I focus more on my strengths because I know that's what I miss compared to the other girls. I'm still the, the lightest of the top girls. And second thing is going on pump tracks with water blades so you get that feeling of pumping, gaining speed. And the third thing which is also very important is go on the ice and get, the, get used to the ice. For figure skating, you have totally different strides than for ice cross. So I had to train a lot to change that. In figure skating, we have some toes in front of our blades. And for ice hockey, you have to push to the end of the blade. And I'm actually still working on it after five years. It's hard to change that. The travel part of Ice Cross is my favorite part. I love that we get to see cities that maybe I wouldn't go just for holidays. Of course, it's nice to have your boyfriend with you when you, when you travel. He's also racing, so he can give me some tips sometimes. It feels like home when I'm with Kevin, and that's a good part of travel for these races too. Steep, huh? Sorry, we have a lot of speed. Yeah, I did the first full one. I was very really fast out of the start. Second part went pretty well, but at the end break a little bit, second time I have to go full speed, give it all. <laughs> the vibe between the riders is really cool, I, I like it a lot. We're just rivals when we go down the track and even for me it's hard to forget that they're my friends. I found the vibe of the athletes really close-knit this year and in the last couple years it's just been getting closer because it's kind of like your family, we all travel together. I think a lot of the athletes that are drawn to this sport are skiers, rollerbladers, hockey players, but I've only really seen one figure skater, obviously an ace. She's very pretty in the air. <laughs> well, at the beginning, feeling that I have a different background as the other was not so good because I was falling a lot. I didn't feel comfortable on those different skates. But now that I got used to hockey skates, I feel like uh, the, the feeling in the air that I got and the, the landing are more like an advantage. 
I'm not so nervous before the races, thanks to figure skating, because there uh, you, you cannot see if uh, the ice skaters are nervous or not. They have to smile and do exactly what they train for. I had no space for being nervous, so I took it with me for ice cross downhill, and when I get a little bit nervous, I can put it uh, away and just let the focus inside my head. Uh, Yokohama 2018 was the first race on the, of the season. I wasn't so ready, I guess. Anise has been coming on strong the last few years. She's looking real good right now. Anise Moran has obviously been spending a lot of time with Derek Wedge and the other Swiss guys training hard. I stopped skating in the whole last section. I was a bit afraid of these rollers. Oh, that just took it away from Anise and she can't believe what's just happened. I was uh, kicked off out of the quarterfinal and my goal was to do a podium. I really have to, I really want to do better this year. Hello everyone and welcome to Yokohama Japan for the first ATSX 1000 race of this Red Bull Ice Cross World Championship season 2020. I think I am a very competitive person. Sometimes I hope I would be less, but <laughs> inside me I have it since I'm very young. Riders, ready? I knew the other girl was at some places better than me, some places less, and she likes the contact. I don't, so it's uh, getting me ready for the next round. So I'm happy with this challenge to be to do better at the semi and at the final. Almost sure that Anais will go to final, and if she takes the lead at the first corner, she will finish in first place position for sure. Good start by Anais Moran, the, the young Swiss skater. Oh, Veronica Vindish gets traction. Oh my goodness, Anais Moran had a little bit of trouble over the bridge table. Jacqueline Legere solidly in first place though. Look at Veronica making a big comeback here at the end for third position. Oh my goodness, what a disappointment for Anais Moran. me but I'm a bit mad at what happened around me but that's racing that's racing I need to get used to that and I did my best I'm of course very sad about the results it's not good but I will learn from it and do better uh, the rest of the season and uh, next year for sure I came from a sport where it was all about looking good and perform exactly and perfectly. And now my new passion is ice cross downhill. And there it's all about being fast, strong and taking risks. But one thing didn't change. I still want to be the best in what I do. And I'll fight for it. <laughs> <laughs>